This is the first of a series of uh, videos on web browser. And start by creating a new project and call it uh, Web Browser 01. <coughs> and the first thing we want to do is uh, on unpin the, the Solution Explorer and the Properties window so it can make this window pretty wide because we're going to need to put an embedded web browser in it and need quite a bit of space in fact maybe I had to make the whole thing bigger make this bigger and then basically what we need is a group box with three check buttons or three radio buttons in it and a, a button so I'll just paste that from the uh, clipboard oops somehow unselected maybe I'll realign all these on the right so it looks a little neater and then select the uh, group box and select the button when holding down control and, and left clicking with the mouse and then when I, these should move as a group and they are indeed and now we need to go over and get a web browser and drag it over to the form we want to make this pretty large in order to, to see as much content from the web as possible I'll get it. Mm, Okie doke. And now you might think what I want to trap is the uh, event handlers for the radio buttons. But in fact, I don't. What I want to trap is just the event handler for the button and then query what the state of these radio buttons are. So if I uh, repin the uh, Solution Explorer and the um, properties window back and maybe give web browser a name like uh, WB browser for good Hungarian notation and if we scroll over so we can see the radio uh, buttons and the button again make sure these have the right names BNT search rad Bing rad Yahoo and red Google. Okay, now double click on the search button to go onto the event handler for the search button. And then what we want is a series of if else ifs. So I go if red bing dot check, which is the check property for the checkbox. Then we want a WB browser dot navigate. To HTTP colon slash slash bing dot com. And then else if rad google is checked wb navigate oh, it's already selected to http colon slash slash google dot com and then else if rad yahoo dot checked
wb browser dot navigate and you have to put the HTTP in when you put it in as a literal but if you're reading it out of a text box you can get away with just saying yahoo.com or google.com and now if we save this and uh, run it and go over Google's already selected so we press search and you see Google comes up we press Yahoo and Yahoo comes up and we press Bing and Bing comes up so pretty cool eh? like three lines of code and we can go to three different search engines well, I hope you uh, enjoyed this uh, video and learned a lot, and I'd appreciate it if you'd subscribe.